Welcome to the press conference. The manager is here to take your <laughs> questions on the game. We will actually split it into two because we'll also do our pre-Norwich um, press conference here also. Dobrodošli na press konferenciju. Menadžer će nam sada dati njegovu kratku izjavu o utiscima sa utakmice i posle ćemo imati za engleske novine i neka pitanja za vezano za vikend i utakmicu sa Norićem. Ok, if you'd like to put your hands up. Defended really well, uh, in the box especially. I think uh, we showed some grit in that respect. We could have defended better up front. We should have stopped them. We, uh, they uh, pushed us back. We need to get more intensity in our pressing. But yeah, proud and uh, kept another clean sheet. Bili smo veoma dobri u odbrani, po mojom mišljenju, posebno u 16. tercu. Trebali smo biti bolji u odbrani, bolji igrati napred na terenu. Tu su uspeli da nas pritisnu i da nas malo potisnu unazad, ali sve u svemu veoma sam ponosan na moje momke. Uzeli smo tri nova boda i nismo primili nijedan gol, tako da to je sjajno. Koliko ste, dakle, ubacili ste dva veoma mlade igrača, dva tineđere koji su se dobro pokazali, kako je vaše mišljenje o tome, pogotovo u ovoj i ovakvoj atmosferi? They did excellent. I thought Jimmy just grew and grew in the game, became better and better. And for me, Brandon was man of the match. He's been fantastic the few games he's played. And the boy has no fear. He's, he's brave as uh, a lion. And uh, he, he got us the, the win. Jim je bio dobar, on je svakog momenta bio sve bolje i bolje. Što tiče Brendana, on je po meni igrač utakmice. On je, ako je mlad momak, nema nikakvog straha, veoma je dobar igrač i na kraju nam je doneo i pobedu. Je to što je idealno da vidite od svojeg igrača, ali što je Brendan učinio, da se učinio za gol, bez nekog sekundu, bez nekog sveta? Da li je to ono što želite ultimativno da vidite od vaših igrača? Brendan je u tom trenutku išao bez ikakvog straha pravo prema golu. In games like this, when we get the first goal, we, we need to uh, learn when to get the second, when to get the third. And uh, I thought today we had loads of opportunities to, to uh, make sure we were in a comfortable lead, but we didn't play that pass forward. But Brandon, absolutely great attitude. The boy is going to be a top, top player. U ovakvim situacijama kada prvi povedemo, ono što treba da naučemo je da damo drugi i treći gol, tako da imamo jednu udobnu prednost. Po meni smo imali veoma mnogo prilika, ali nismo ih iskoristili. A opet što se tiče Brendona, njegov stav je bio zaista fantastičan u celu utakmici i bit će jednog dana fantastičan igrač. We've got our calculator out. We make it 232 days since you last won away. So you must be pleased to break that sequence. Of course, I'm happy now that we could... Just look forward to the next one. Try to build momentum. We need to win away from home in the league. So, but another clean sheet, which is great, and that gives you a platform to to win the games from. Da, da, naravno da sam srećan zbog pobede što smo pobedili u gostima i to je nešto na čemu treba da nastavimo da radimo i treba se radimo u sledećim utakmicama i da nastavimo sa tim trendom. Ono što je isto takođe veoma bitno je da nismo primili ni jedan gol u današnji utakmici. Dobro večer, kako vam se čini ekipa Partizana, kakav je utisak ostila na vas i da li biste rekli da je vaš tim imao sreće, pogotovo tokom ofanzive u drugom polovremenu? So what did you think of the Partizan team? What are your impressions of your opponents today? And would you say that you had luck, especially in the second half when they pressed you hard? I don't know about luck, but we had to defend really well. They, I thought that their team was really good. Second half, lots of... Uh, courage, send men forward, create loads of uh, opportunities. We defended well. The crowd was unbelievable, so I think the crowd should be uh, very proud of their team and the team should be very proud of, of their crowd because it was an excellent uh, atmosphere and um, you know what we talked about before the game. Wow, uh, the fans were great. Pa sad što se tiče sreće, ne znam zaista koliko je pitanje sreće, ali morali smo da se veoma dobro branimo, posebno u drugom polu vremenu, kada su nas pritisli, kada su hrabro napadali i kada su zaista igrali prilično dobro, ali uspeli smo da se odbranimo. Isto, atmosfera je bila fantastična, publika na tribinama je bila neverovatna i drago mi je što su mi malo ovako odličnu atmosferu i mislim da i tim može da bude ponosa na publiku, a i publika na svoj tim kako su odigrali večeras. Okay, we'll move on to the pre-Norwich press conference now. We don't need this translating. Um, embargoed until tomorrow at 10 a.m.
Anybody? Yeah. Be Norwich. Um, hi, um, um, Norwich um, outplayed Manchester City um, not so long ago. What has impressed you about that team um, so far? And um, uh, there have been a lot of goals uh, in this season at their stadium. Do you expect this to be kind of like an open game? <laughs> They've, uh, they started the league. When, when I watched the first game against Liverpool, I saw a team with lots of courage. They were brave, uh, they played their own way and they've kept going, and that give, have, has given them some great results when they beat Newcastle, when they beat Manchester City. Team with a clear philosophy on how they want to play. So um, I hope we're going to stop them, because uh, it's, al it's always going to be difficult down at Carrow Road. But we're, um, we're ready for it now. We've been to uh, Belgrade here, got some players back. We, I, I managed to take Aaron and Anthony off uh, after 60 minutes, because they've been out for a long time, so hopefully we have a fresh team, because we need to um, need to be at our best to have a chance. Well, uh, you said that you're after maybe a, a, an attack in January, and when there's a player that you know so well, uh, who's the top scorer in the Champions League, does it make it tempting to to try to make a reunion, or is it, does he does he fit the the profile at least? I don't think it's a time now for me to talk about uh, other strikers, uh, other team strikers. I, I spoke about Hurricane yesterday and Arling today. I don't think it's right for me. Oli, um, it was the back three again today, like we saw against Liverpool. You said after the Newcastle game you might change your tactics. We've seen that now with the two games since then. Yeah. Is this the way forward, do you think? And why does this suit United maybe in a way that what seemed your preferred formation didn't? Well, I think the injuries made us uh, get into a position uh, where the performances didn't come. And we had fit centre-backs, good centre-backs, quality centre-backs, and it just made it easier to go back to a back three against Liverpool and again today. We got Jesse uh, can play in that three in midfield. Uh, we've got players who's played. So today, for example, Sergio played a World Cup final. Marcus played a World Cup final in a back three. Jonah and Harry, they were involved in a back three uh, in a semi-final. Uh, you got Jesse played in his position. So it, it's just uh, injuries have made us go into this position, but it's, it's working quite well. Would you accept also that maybe you do just lack a bit of creativity in midfield because you don't create many clear-cut chances. Well, we've, uh, we've not created as many as we like. We have not scored as many as we like. And, but now Anthony's back, got, off, uh, got a goal today. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll see us improve as a team with Anthony in the team because he's, he does give us something different. Uh, we're working very hard to get them fit uh, and hopefully uh, we can get, uh, get them back soon. I I'm not going to put a deadline, but uh, it won't be too long, hopefully. And does, does the idea of having Anthony Marcus perhaps as a two up front when you're playing this system, that, is that exciting and that could bring more goals? That could happen, uh, definitely. I thought Marcus and Dan James caused Liverpool problems. So it depends uh, who's fit. Mason could have played today as well. So, of course, I think we're looking more dangerous up front with, uh, with two. OK, last question. At the Paul. moment. That position just behind the two strikers, is that somewhere that you think Daniel James can play? Obviously, with his pace running through the middle, it could be a, a threat. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, Dan can play many positions. Uh, as so many others, but Andreas can play there, Jesse can play there, Juan can play there. So we've got loads of players who can play in behind two, two forwards. Um, it'll just be who's fit, who's in form, uh, what do we decide uh, is the best against Norwich. Okay, guys. All right. Safe trip. Minutes.